This busy street in the centre of Sertogenbosch had no cycling infrastructure at all. But the Van Berkelstraat is completely closed to private motor traffic now. What was a very unpleasant street to cycle in has been redesigned as a cycle street, where only buses are guessed. What seemed a narrow bridge at the end of the street turns out to be more than wide enough now that cars can no longer use it. The street was reconstructed to reflect its new purpose, with more space for people and more space for green. Instead of trees, the city placed metal structures for climbing plants. No doubt a reference to the lampposts of this bridge at the end of the street. The newly planted greenery will have to grow, but the street has got a very different look compared to how it was less than two years earlier. In August 2020, the street was closed to private motor traffic with temporary measures. Only buses could still enter the street, which was enforced with creative solutions. After the trial turned out successful, stakeholders were involved in redesigning the street. The reconstruction took place in March and April 2022 for which the street had to be closed, also for cycling. The city did everything it could to inform cyclists, with well signposted detours, but cyclists are hard to nudge. Most kept using the street and didn't dismount either. Late April the street was finished and from the 24th the street was reopened for walking, cycling and buses. But because buses can enter the street, the space is there for cars to use it too. Even though signs inform people they may not enter the street by car, drivers are also hard to direct. Many choose to ignore the signs and think they can quickly pass the short barrier unnoticed. But there is enforcement now. Cameras detect every car's registration plate the city informed me that every driver gets one warning letter and after that an immediate fine sent to their home address. The fine for entering a street closed with a no entry sign is 100 euros in the Netherlands. Despite the lawbreakers, residents feel the street has become safer for cycling. An overwhelming majority of them was in favour of closing their street to private cars. When one entrepreneur was asked if he didn't fear a loss of income, he told the newspaper no, because his customers kept finding his store in the two years the street had been closed. Now we wait until the first fines stop drivers from illegally using the street. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing to my channel, if you haven't done that already. Don't forget to click the notification bell to receive updates on my latest videos.